Hi, my name is Roger Schlitter. Um, this video is actually about whether you should change your LLC to a sub S corporation. And, and there is some reasons to do that. Um, this video is about, you know, changing your tax treatment to a sub S corporation. If you have a, a LLC currently, um, state of the end, and I'll show you approximately how much you can save by using a sub S corporation for your tax treatment of an LLC. Um, what's the difference between an LLC and a sub S corp? First of all, an S corp is a tax classification. An LLC is a business entity. So by meaning business entity, it means that you can, you can pay your taxes a number of different ways. You could be a sole proprietorship. You could be a, um, you could be a partnership. Um, and actually a corporation can actually own an LLC too. So there's several different ways. The LLC is not a tax classification. It's a business entity and how you tax it. It can be taxed in numerous ways. Um, it really means that an LLC can achieve S corp status if it meets S corp criteria. Um, the LLC and the sub S corp have different management and shareholder structures. Um, the LLC, the LLC operates the same as a sole proprietorship or partnership. Um, the LLC can have unlimited owners. Um, members, um, usually called members, and these owners can be a corporation. Um, the S Corp, the S Corp must be a U.S. business owned by U.S. citizens and cannot have more than 100 owners. Um, S Corp owners can be individuals, trusts, and, or estates. Um, the S Corp, the corporation, usually has a board or has to have, I think, a board of directors who make the big decisions. Um, shareholders elect directors to the board of directors. Um, officers in the business like president, vice president, and treasurer manage the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Sometimes in a small company, these are all the same person. Um, LLC, the LLC can be a member managed or a manager managed LLC. Member managed meaning, meaning that the, an actual member of the LLC is the manager or will manage the LLC. And a manager managed would mean that they are actually going to hire a manager to run that company, to operate it day to day. Um, on the LLC, members usually hire managers, like I said, to manage the LLC or they can do it themselves. Um, you know, and that would be a member managed LLC. S-Corps. The S-Corp can issue common stock that gives voting rights to shareholders. Um, the LLC. The LLC cannot issue stock and must pay its members according to the Articles of Organization. And the Articles of Organization is kind of what makes the LLC bulletproof. Um, if you don't have Articles of Organization, you, 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 you pro they probably will, you know, can go after your personal assets. But as long as that LLC is set up correctly, with articles of organization, um, and those actually say who can who can do what in the LLC. Um, so anyway, that that is a very articles of organization are very important, and some people don't find that out until they realize they don't have them. Um, if you incorporate your LLC, um, you you cannot issue stock. Um, the S corp, the S corp is not subject to uh, corporate income tax and all profits pass through to the shareholder. So basically the S Corp, there is a, on your first page of your 1040, there is a line which, which includes a number of other things. And one thing is, is S Corp income. And that is put on the first page as income of your, um, of your 1040, you know, for a, you know, for a company. So it basically, it, it passes through the shareholders and to the shareholders through their, their tax return, their 1040. So anyway, the um, and then the shareholders are liable for for income tax on their portion. Um, LLC, the LLC mirrors the sole proprietorship and partnership for their taxation. LLC owners must pay a 15.3 percent self-employment tax on all net profits. LLCs can also be taxed as a corporation or sub S corporation, but they must meet certain requirements. Um, cost. The cost to establish an LLC or a sub S corp is very affordable. I mean, it's usually between 50 and, and 500 bucks. 
but it depends on the state. Um, I actually live in Missouri, and to start an LLC, it's like 100 bucks. You just take a credit card, you, you just go through the Secretary of State, and poof, you, you, you are a company. So anyway, um, I don't know how much it is to, to do the sub S or to do a corporation. Um, LLCs have to pay the self-employment tax on all net profits. This amount, like I said before, is 15.3%. This is a large expense if your company tends to grow, if your company intends to grow in sales and earnings. I mean, if you're growing, um, all of a sudden that 15.3% becomes a, a, a larger and larger number. Um, and that is why you might want to convert to a sub S corp from an LLC. Um, just because of that 15.3%, you know, that you have to pay self-employment tax. Um, the, um, therefore, um, the, you know, you may want to do that. And now the ins and outs of actually doing it, I would actually go through an attorney to do it, but you can probably find many uh, accountants or, or tax accountants that, that could do that for you also. Just be careful if you have an accountant do it, make sure it is legal. Um, you could always do it through legal zoom or whatever you know some of these on on the uh, internet type type uh, organizations too that do you know they can do everything from an LLC to to a sub S corp but the sub S corp you do have to follow there are more more conditions and and I would you know I would talk to an attorney or something before you do that but it could be very lucrative for you um, Please subscribe and uh, ring the bell for future videos like this one. Uh, please also uh, like the video if you got anything out of it. Uh, my name is Roger Schleter, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.